the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees has selected more than 200,000 refugees from Islamic countries to be resettled in the United States. Most of them have come from Somalia and Iraq, but pro-Islamist, Barack Obama, is not content with only hundreds of thousands of Muslims being injected into our country and our already nearly bankrupt welfare system. WND.com is reporting that those refugees will soon be dumped on American cities throughout the U.S. But don't hold your breath for these new citizens to assimilate, they will likely insist on adhering to strict Sharia law and demanding that phone messages from governmental and private sector organization played in English, Spanish and Arabic, but what is missing from this mix? The hundreds of thousands of peace-loving Christians who have been driven out of their homes in Iraq, these potential citizens would assimilate into Western culture, adopting our customs and values. But under this current Obama nation, Christians not apply. Oh, but it gets worse. In February, the State Department moved to soften the rules that protect the U.S. from accepting refugees with potential ties to terrorist organizations. The rules were seen as too strict by this Obama nation. So here we have a potential of one million or more new Muslim time bombs, many of them likely terrorists or easily able to recruit into terrorists, embedded into the United States just waiting for midnight phone call or email to wage civil war against the infidels who are not providing them with enough food stamps, free education or other benefits at the expense of working taxpayers. For more information, visit WND.com since much of this material was based on their article that may be accessed from the link on your screen. Please, Please forward a copy of this video to your congressman and to every red-blooded American you know who does not want this nation to exchange its current Judeo-Christian culture and freedoms for one resembling most nations in the Middle East with virtually no personal freedoms other than the freedom to be a Muslim.